First, we'll set up a 2D project in Unity that uses the Universal Render Pipeline. For this project, we'll be using the 2020.3.25F1 long-term support version of the Unity Editor. We will delete the main camera because we will set up our own user camera in a later video. Let's rename the sample scene to simulation because this will be the main scene that runs the simulation. We can then go into our scenes folder and delete the original sample scene. Now we can open up the package manager and install the universal render pipeline package. Make sure that you choose the Unity Registry Packages from the dropdown at the top of the Package Manager window. Now that we have the package installed, we can create the Universal Render Pipeline asset for our project. Let's start by creating a folder named URP to store the related assets. Now we will create the pipeline asset inside of this new folder. We will keep the default name. You can see it will create the main asset and the renderer asset for us. But since we are creating a 2D project, we need to replace this render data asset with the 2D version. This can also be found under the same rendering menu. Let's remove the new from the name, and now we can use the pipeline asset to select this new 2D render data. Finally, let's delete the original render data that it created for us. That completes the setup for the Universal Render Pipeline for a 2D project. Now, let's import some of the resources we're going to use to build the project. Unity will look for a folder named Resources in our assets when we ask it to load resources into our project. So our first step is to create this folder. Next, let's open this folder in our file explorer so that we can copy the resources into our project easily. The resources we need can be found in this repository on GitHub. There is a link to the repo in the description of this video. It's important to note that Unity's GitHub package saves the files using the LFS or Large File Storage Format. This means we cannot get the images by simply downloading the zip file. Instead, we need to clone the repo using git. If we download the zip file, we will only get pointers to the images rather than the images themselves. Now that we have a copy of the repo, let's also open it in our file explorer. We want to copy over the entire images folder inside the resources folder of the repo. This folder contains all of the sprites we will be using for the simulation. We can copy it directly into our new resources folder within our project. When we return the focus to Unity, it will automatically import these images into the editor. We can now browse through the images in Unity. The folder we copied contains Unity meta files that will automatically set up some important properties on the sprites for us. Here we can see that the pixels per unit has been set to 512 to match the width of our tile images. This would normally default to 100. We can also see that a custom pivot has been defined for our sprites. This pivot is used as the position of the sprite when placing it into a tile map. The default is to simply use the center of the image, but for our tile map, we want the position to be closer to the bottom of the image. If we drag one of our tiles onto the scene, we can take a closer look at this custom pivot. You can see it is defined so that it sits right in the center of the base of our tile. Included in the images folder is also a sprite atlas for the tile images. This is a Unity resource that combines all of the individual images into a single texture that can be rendered more efficiently. 
The last thing we want to do is create a tile palette that will define the tile resources for our tile map. To begin, open the tile palette window. Choose Create New Palette from the dropdown and name it World Palette. Then choose the Isometric Grid option and click Create. We now have to choose where to save the tile palette resources. For now, save them into the same folder as the tile images. Later, we will move them into their own dedicated folder. To create the individual tile assets, we can drag each of the sprites onto the tile palette window. Each time we do this, it will ask us where we want to save the asset. For now, leave them all in this same folder. We now have a tile asset for each of our tile images. These are the assets we will build our tile map from. We are now done importing all of our image assets and we can move on to building the simulation itself.